students from Linwood University Belleville had three months, June, July, and August, to make a big decision. They could transfer to the St. Charles campus, transfer to another university, or stay at Belleville. Sophomore William Murray was faced with a more complicated decision. His football scholarship covered 80% of tuition, but his team at Belleville was cut over the summer. And then basically my recruitment um, opened back up. A lot of schools out of nowhere just started hitting me up because I guess they dropped um, something on a website and like a whole bunch of other schools, NAIA, D2s, um, got aware and tried to contact, but nobody could match um, the scholarship on paper. So I was, I was like, might as well keep, keep going and then why not try D2? So he was one of 255 students who chose to transfer to Linwood's main campus in St. Charles, Missouri. He also is one of many who are not playing their sport any longer. There is a significant jump from NAI to NCAA Division II. I would say the majority of our students that transferred over there, that probably the majority were athletes. The majority probably decided not to play anymore. Uh, and then there is probably a handful uh, that, that decided to carry on. Murray reached out to the St. Charles football program over the summer, but he was told their roster was full. In total, the program accepted six athletes from Belleville out of a roster of over 90. And I'm training this whole, like, further off season since we're not playing, and we're gonna try it in the spring as well. It's like a little group of us. But whether he makes the roster or not, the university is honoring every dollar of scholarship money to Belleville transfers. Obviously, the institution would be in good faith and would see that scholarship through for whatever time uh, that the student had remaining. A total of 592 students remain on Belleville's campus. Why do they stay? Some are seniors, some have an affinity for their coach or professors, and some are buying more time. Our roster sizes are much smaller, so typically it's not a problem to get people, uh, a lot of people playing time and a lot of film so that they can go ahead and, and use that film and shop themselves to other institutions. In a bizarre way, this has created a free agent market for students trying to live out their eligibility. When our volleyball team goes and plays this weekend on the road, our coach is having a conversation with their coach to say, hey, look, these are the kids that I have. All of these are free agents. Uh, some potentially are going to graduate, but these are the people that, what are you looking for for potentially next year? As of the start of fall, 18 teams remain on the campus. However, for 12 teams, either the coach has left or the roster has dissipated. We're worried about being cut, you know? Baseball was cut just weeks before we came back for school, and sports are constantly being cut all the time. So we're just trying to make the best out of this year. Some cases have been inspiring, like the women's basketball coach also taking over the men's program or the golf coach also becoming an assistant women's wrestling coach. For the students, the family-like atmosphere of Belleville has been a highlight of their time attending the school. Just my first year, I have so many friends, and my, just being able to interact with anyone, just sitting at the lunch table, no one sits alone in there, because everyone has each other's back, like they said. Like, my friends that I've talked to that have left said that over there, like, like they miss, like, the teachers here and like the, the small class size here and like that feeling and then over there like they're more just a number the teachers don't really care it's not as personalized. Since the semester has started Belleville transfers have needed to adapt to larger class sizes and a bigger campus. We were smaller of a school so like everybody somewhat knew each other and like if you weren't an athlete there you like kind of looked at weird but at the same time like we looked at each other as like we're one big family. So like when everybody came here, you see everybody's like off in their own little nick. So like everybody from Belleville just keeps getting closer. St. Charles administrators are going out of their way to accommodate students who transferred from Belleville, whether or not they are athletes. We pretty much um, have been over backwards to make sure that their um, uh, their classes transfer easily. There is a path towards uh, uh, fulfillment of their degree requirements. But for 117 faculty and staff, transferring is not so easy. Not, well, it's not a direct transfer. It is the, the students have moved. And so these, this job has ended. You know, this job has ended on this campus. That's, that's what we do here. And so now, if there is a business need for more staff and employees, then absolutely those, these would be looked at. Uh, those individuals are also um, guaranteed an interview if they do apply for some of the positions that will be posted and have been posted at our main campus. Uh, so they're kind of given a little bit of a, a preferential treatment. So what's happening to the Belleville campus? How will it be utilized? Two graduate programs, a Master's of Education and Counseling. Lindenwood still owns this property and is going to take care of it, and we still are going to have classes here. 
For now, students are thankful for the time they have left. We will never be able to come back here and have an alumni game with our teammates. We'll never be able to come back to watch another rugby game, soccer, basketball, volleyball, nothing. Like, it's just, it's weird that everything stops here with us.